All right, next contestant in the 2018 Singer Singer Songwriter Competition. There's too many singers in there. Either way, it's a good one. Billy Joe Sewell. <laughs> Wow. Wow. All I can say, even just from hearing the first, well, I've heard all of them, of course. Um, I can't wait to see what the next two bring, but um, I'm telling you what, Riley, oh, my, that last song is literally one of my favorites. You need to record that right now and get it on album, and I will buy it. And uh, I'm, I'm really bad with names. The first guy. Jonah. Jonah. I knew that. Um, something bad. I honestly, no offense, I, I didn't really like that song. You sang it, and I love the song. I love it. I love how you did it. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> well, uh, this first song I'm going to do for y'all, I did this um, in the first round that uh, got me into this competition, and uh, I've, heard it, I've heard it said a few times that this is kind of a radio-ready song, I guess, so that made me feel pretty good, uh, but this first song, this is called Redneckin'. <laughs> Say Prince Charming comes in a suit and tie. I'll take you to the nicest places every Friday night. I'll buy you a diamond ring and pretty things, and I know they might be nice. I just can't see myself as a trophy wife. I prefer a neck and blue jean wearing country boy kind of life. His long neck and his long chair Out in the middle of nowhere With him is where I'm supposed to be Out there red neck These days they tell you to find a computer guy Gonna make you a million if you just give him time. You'll have the latest cell phone, smart TV, and your home gamers over every night. I just can't see myself spending that much time inside. But for redneck and blue jean, wearing country boy kind of life. Hard working can fix what's broken, hangs out on a Saturday night with his long neck and his long. Prefer redneck and blue jean wearing country boy kind of life. Hard working can fix what's broken, hangs out on a Saturday night. With his long neck and his long chair, out in the middle of nowhere. With him is where I'm supposed to be. With him, I know I'm supposed to be. Thank you. I got to brag a little bit right here on a Tad, Mr. 18-year-old guitar player. Uh, <laughs> him and his mom uh, actually co-wrote this next song with me, and he wrote all the music for this next song. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely probably one of my, my very favorite songs that I wrote, but uh, this is called Keep Me From You. Commitment. 
commitments all the life can put you through time with you gets pushed back again and again and i start to feel more like your long lost friend so i paint a picture in my mind of how things used to be when we had everything whatever that means could go back to our simple life dollar movies on a friday night with barely enough to get us through a little house on a quiet street the way you used to look at me when our love was new and nothing could keep As far as I can tell, the world tries to make you believe The more you have, the better life will be But it can just distract you from the truth That life is all about things Then who needs you? I'm reminded of a summer day we had no money and we stopped to play in a little creek where memories were made. And I'd go back to our simple life, dollar movies on a Friday night, but barely enough to get us through. A little house on a quiet street, the way you used to look at me when our love was new. things but instead we'll be rocking on our front porch swing and we'll be back to our boring life dollar movies on a friday night with barely enough to get us through a little house on a quiet street remembering how you looked at when our love was new and nothing could keep me When our love was new and nothing could keep me Keep me from you Every time. He's like, I don't remember this song. What are we playing? What, how does this go? That's what he says. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, well, this next song, I, uh, this is a new one, actually, from a couple weeks ago. And uh, Miss Tammy Marler and I co-wrote this. And uh, this is called It Scares Me. He's my chariot, protects me from the battles of this broken world. He's the one who saves me when I'm drowned and takes me safely to shore. I could tell you that I picked him, but he fell into my lap. Some would call that destiny, oh, but he hates stuff like that. Coffee 
or even sees the morning sun. He could stay out all night long and get out of bed at one. I could tell you he's the opposite of what I thought I'd find. And some days he makes me feel like I could lose my mind. Miranda song um, that I'm going to cover. I actually had never heard it until last week. They're like, oh, what are you going to do for your last song? And I had a couple of my, my family and friends um, tell me that I should learn this song. And uh, my, <laughs> shh, I'm just kidding. They're doing that. I didn't do that. Um, <laughs> um, my niece, my niece-in-law, um, tell a little bit, a little bit, I don't want to say too much, but um, back when she was in high school, she was um, bullied quite a bit and made fun of and had, had a really, really, really hard time um, in high school. And you know how girls are. Girls are mean. I mean, it happened to me when I was in high school. And, and when you're that person and you're that person that's getting bullied and picked on, you look at other people and you're like, oh, they're, they're so much better than me. I'm, I'm nothing compared to them. I'm, you know, I'm not anything, you know, as, as good as they are. And the lyrics to this song, after I heard them, uh, reminded me of that, but it also reminds me um, of our Heavenly Father whenever he looks at us and we are beautiful just the way that he made us, no matter what our past is, what our scars are, anything like that. And uh, he's looking at us and he's, he's telling us to keep your head up and... Uh, and just be you, be the, be the person that I created you to be. And uh, sorry, I'm getting emotional. Um, but uh, this is Miranda's song. This is Virginia Bluebell. I hope y'all like it. Carrying away the end of a you're just waiting for somebody to pick you up again Shaded by a tree Oh my gosh You're just looking for somebody to pick you up again Pretty little thing, sometimes you gotta lose flower can bloom you just need a little push spring is coming soon umbrella in the rain it'll roll off your back where the 
what you can, realize what you have. darkest places put a little smile on the saddest faces pretty little thing sometimes you gotta look up let the world see all the beauty that you're made of cause the way you hang your head nobody can tell in my Virginia Ladies and gentlemen, Billy Joe Sewell right here. I shouldn't have looked at you. Mama to four babies? Yes. Four babies up here picking and grinning. Why are you doing that? All right, we're going to start with <laughs> Jeannie. I'm also a mama of four babies. <laughs> Yeah, and that's why your song, Keep Me From You, was just really meaningful. I mean, it's a beautiful song, beautiful words, but just, you know, when you're in the busyness of life, you, you kind of lose touch sometimes, and so it was a great song. I loved it. Thank you. Thank you. Chad? Uh, well, <clears throat> I'm not a mama of four babies, but I still <laughs> loved what you did tonight. You got the figure. <laughs> I would also like to Come say on. you're accompanying us to uh, the emotional fervor that he brings to the performance <laughs> is really impressive. It's really what did it for me. I'm just kidding. I wish I was that cool, but I'm not. Uh, he's right? just very outgoing. Yeah. You know, no, you can tell. I thought you did a great job. I mean, the songs are commercial. And not only that, it's just as a singer, you're a great singer and you really know how to flip a chorus. Uh, that's... It was just really spectacular. Good job. Thank you. KJ. You're going last from now on. <laughs> Billy Joe. <laughs> Billy Joe, uh, you know, one of the things that gets to me the most is that this is a really tough industry on women, for women. And um, I think there's a lot of reasons behind that. There's been lots of discussion, things to the sort. But one of the things that I think you bring to the table that I do think makes it more difficult on women is that a lot of women songwriters and singers seem to always, their music is, their tone, their lyrics and everything are always the same. It sounds like the same songs all the way through. You don't do that. You, there's, there's something very special about you. And... Um, the song, uh, Keep Me From You, that's what I've been looking for from you from this whole competition. Good job. Thank you. Before we, before we get to Ty, please be quiet. Please be quiet. Y'all, be quiet. Ty. Oh, now I've got pressure. Oh, uh, Redneckin' is radio ready. Um, yep. On Keep Me From You, uh, I like to say that that song, Keep Me From You, gives me the Willie Nelsons, and that's a good thing. That went down my spine, so... Um, you, ch you know what? You changed some stuff, stuff in that song. I, I, I'm not just going crazy. No, I did a little okay. bit. Okay. Well, a little more, a little bit, I think. <laughs> we were going, wait, that's, that's, that's different. Um, you constantly improve and you work hard. And every time I see you, you're doing something, you've advanced. And so that's awesome. And keep it up. And that's, you, we, you can tell you work hard. You work really hard at it. And um, the best line, I think, is uh, why God made... You know, falling in love easy and breaking up so hard. That's yeah, awesome. That's so, good one. Thank that's you. a good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. And by the way, when you're accepting your ACM years from now, remember <laughs> I'm the one that said Radio Ready single. Yes, he, he was the one. <laughs> Give it up for Billy Joe Sewell. <laughs> 